up guys? We are back in business, baby. I'm Trey Lesio, the dawn of entertainment. This is the Pop Culture Dinner Tray, your ultimate newsreel for music, movies, TV, and sports. It's good to be back. I apologize for the hiatus, but this is the debut, the ultimate premiere of the poster wall. We love it. I'm glad you are on board. Thank you for sticking with us. Let's get right into it. Yeah, sports. Oklahoma quarterback Baker Mayfield won the 2017 Heisman Trophy. He threw for 4,340 passing yards with 41 touchdowns and five interceptions. Mayfield received 86% of the total points available in the Heisman voting, the third highest percentage in Heisman history. Stanford running back Bryce Love came in second, and Louisville quarterback Lamar Jackson came in third. Outfielder and reigning NL MVP Juan Carlos Stanton was traded from the Miami Marlins to the New York Yankees for Starling Castro and a couple minor leaguers. In case you missed it, the final college football playoff rankings have been set. Number one, Clemson will play number four, Alabama, in the Sugar Bowl, while number two, Oklahoma, will play number three, Georgia, in the Rose Bowl, both on New Year's Day. LeVar Ball told ESPN that LiAngelo and LaMelo have signed with Lonzo's agent Harrison Gaines with the goal of finding an overseas team that will play both at the same time. This would forego LaMelo's chances of playing college basketball in the NCAA. Movies and TV. Variety reported that it's highly unlikely that Ben Affleck will return for the Batman standalone movie. Rumors have been circulated, and you've heard it here, around the entertainment headlines, but director Matt Reeves is said to want to cast a role with fresh talent. Affleck is still expected to make an appearance in the upcoming standalone Flash movie, Flashpoint, but this may be Affleck's cool way to seg out of the DC Extended Universe as a previous Hollywood Reporter report claimed. Ryan Reynolds has signed on to voice Pikachu in the upcoming live-action Pokemon movie Detective Pikachu. Not many plot details have been revealed about this movie, but it has been reported that it will be a blend of CGI and live-action. Justice Smith from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom has also signed on to play the male human lead, with Big Little Lies star Catherine Newton nabbed to play the female human lead. Ryan Johnson, the director of Star Wars The Last Jedi and the newly appointed director for a brand new trilogy after Episode 9, has put to bed some speculations about this new trilogy. In an interview with Mashable, Johnson said, Oh, the fans love the Knights of the Old Republic. I played the game when it first came out and it was like, God, I loved it. Yeah, that's a fantastic game. And I understand it, the instinct to automatically go to something that you know and love that you've already seen. To me, what's really fun is the notion of what's new, what new stuff are we gonna see and what new stories can we tell. Knights of the Old Republic was an Xbox exclusive game released in 2003 that took place years before the Skywalker Saga in a time where there was a massive war between the Jedi and the Sith. Still no true details regarding the plot of this new separate trilogy. Deadline reported that Quentin Tarantino could potentially be teaming up with J.J. Abrams to create a new Star Trek movie. In this report, it was stated that Tarantino has required that this Star Trek movie must be rated R, and Tarantino and Abrams reportedly agreed to that condition. No other details have emerged about this project, but it could be very interesting. Music. Eminem revealed the release date for his upcoming album, Revival, with this video posted by Dr. Dre. Hello again, this is Trevor for Revival. You've spent the last few weeks hearing about Revival and how you could treat moderate to severe atrox for thymus. Well, today I have great news for all of you suffering from AR. You see, Revival isn't a medication at all. Revival is the name of the new album from Eminem, and it's coming out December 15th. On behalf of everyone who took part in the Revival campaign, thank you. Don't worry, you won't be seeing us again. If you happen to run into me out on the street, please don't ask me anything about the album. M told me he likes to keep people guessing. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't know shit. I've never met Eminem. Revival, December 15th. Use as directed. 
He also revealed the 19 song, eight feature track list and released a new politically charged song, Untouchable, along with the pre-order for the album, which is set to come out this Friday. Just keep marching till we reach Congress. But they're gonna say you're trying to take an irrational stance If you try to slander the flag But somebody has to be the sacrificial lamb So they call it a Kaepernick tantrum If you don't stand for the national anthem The Grammy nominations were revealed Here are some of the nominees for the notable categories For Record of the Year Redbone by Childish Gambino Despacito by Luis Fonzi Daddy Yankee and Justin Bieber The Story of OJ by Jay-Z Humble by Kendrick Lamar and 24 Karat Magic by Bruno Mars. For Album of the Year, Awaken My Love by Childish Gambino, 444 by Jay-Z, Damn by Kendrick Lamar, Melodrama by Lord, and 24 Karat Magic by Bruno Mars. For Song of the Year, Despacito by Louis Fonzi, Daddy Yankee, and Justin Bieber, 444 by Jay-Z, Issues by Julia Michaels, 1-800- 2738255 by Logic, the Suicide Hotline song, and That's What I Like by Bruno Mars. For Best Rap Album, 444 by Jay Z, Damn by Kendrick Lamar, Culture by Migos, Layla's Wisdom by Rhapsody, and Scum Fuck Flower Boy by Tyler, their creator. Go check out our most recent podcast for more Grammy nomination coverage and our predictions. Frank Ocean might be sitting on a new album. In a Tumblr post, Ocean wrote, Well, I made the album before 30. I just ain't put that bitch out. Quotes from an interview I haven't given. Ha <laughs> ha. He apparently tweeted a few years ago that he would make five albums before he turned 30, and he recently turned 30 back in October. Frank has released Nostalgia, Ultra, Channel Orange, Blonde, and Endless, the visual album, which would make four. If it's anything like the Blonde rollout, we will more than likely be waiting for a while if this new album exists. Jay-Z told the New York Times that a joint album with Beyonce may exist. He said, We were using our art almost like a therapy session, and we started making music together. And then the music she was making at that time was further along, so her album came out as opposed to the joint album that we were working on. We still have a lot of that music. Let the rumors circulate. Dessert. Notable movies coming out this Friday, December 15th, include Ferdinand and Star Wars The Last Jedi. May the Force be with you. Notable albums coming out this Friday, December 15th, include Saturation 3 by Brock Hampton, Pop 2 by Charlie XCX, No One Ever Really Dies by Nerd, the Beautiful and Damned by g Easy and Revival by Eminem. I'm Trey Alessio, the dawn of entertainment. You are watching on Are You Entertained? Your one, number one source for music, movies, TV, and sports. Again, I apologize for the hiatus. It's good to be back. I'm glad to premiere my podcast studio and the poster wall we're going to keep it going so subscribe 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 content on content on content again i'm teasing a big project it's in the works it's coming i just ain't telling you yet because i want to get it going before i tell you bitches yeah ha. yo thanks for watching i am trey alessio again and i'll be back for more peace